Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the Fifth Avenue Project. We are back at it with another episode. Now, for today, I wanted to show you guys how to update APK time. The reason I want to start off the next uh, string of videos with APK time is because that's where you're going to be getting most of your updated apps from. Now, as you guys know, I have a particular set of uh, APKs that I use. If you guys have been following me, you know some of my go-to APKs include things like Cyberflix, um, Morph TV, you see it here, we have Mob Drow, uh, what else do we have, TTV, even still have Morpheus here, but no need for Morpheus if you have Morph TV, have uh, Cinema APK, and all, all, this, all these APKs I, I have videos on, and I include them in my, um, my top five and top 10 countdown when I do have those. I also have some uh, paid IPTV services that I rock with, Area 51, Eternal TV, Gears. I have separate videos on those, but for today I just wanna focus on uninstalling any outdated APKs that didn't auto update and reinstalling it using APK time. Now the APK time, now if you click on the button on your Fire Stick remote with the three horizontal lines, the options button, pull that up and all you gotta do is uninstall. So what we're gonna do is uninstall the old version of um, APK time. So we're gonna do that, that's the first thing you wanna do. Okay, so now that it's gone, right? I'm gonna go back to the main page here just in case you guys are just doing this for the first time. We're gonna go back to the main page. And the first thing you wanna do is go to top of the screen, go all the way over to where it says settings, Okay, once you get to settings, you're gonna go to My Fire TV. Once you're inside My Fire TV, all you gotta do is go to developer options and you just make sure ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources are turned on. Make sure these are both turned on, all right? Next thing you wanna do is get back to the main screen, go back to the top again, and you see the search icon next to where it says home click on that. Now you're going to type in downloader, right? Down. All right, you see it right here, downloader app for Fire Stick. I'm going to click on that. Once you see it, you're going to click on it. I already have it installed, but for you, if you're installing it for the first time, it's going to ask you to install and you're going to want to install it. And basically what it does is it allows you to enter URLs for any websites you want to visit. And you're going to need that, and you're going to see why in just a second. Now, once you install Downloader, you open it up. First thing you want to do, go over to the left-hand side here, hit Settings. And then once you hit Settings, you're going to enable JavaScript. By default, it's off. You want to switch it on. You're going to select Yes. JavaScript warning. You can just ignore that. Hit Yes. And then you are good to go. Now, what you want to do is go back to where it says Home. And you see where I am right here, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. You're going to press the select button on your Fire Stick remote. Hit that. And you're going to type in the following. All right. Pause it if you need to. You're going to type this in exactly the way you see it. No typos. That's aptime.com forward slash apps. And we're going to click on go. Before we do anything, I'm just going to save it up here. You see where it's next to go? I'm going to click on this button here and add to favorites. That way I don't have to type it in again just in case something goes wrong. All right, I'm going to rename this APK Time. APK Time. And then there we go. Save. That way I don't have to um, type it in again. And just in case you guys don't know, favorites are over here. All right, so what we want to do now is install APK Time version 2.2. As you can see, it was updated April 19th right here. So what we're going to do is click on APK Time. Let that download. Okay, it's going to ask if you want to install the application. Gonna select yes and let that download. 
Okay, as you can see, app installed. What we're going to do here is select done, not open. All right. All right, for some reason it booted me out, but it's no problem. What I want to do is just delete the installation file since we already got the application installed. All you got to do is go over to files. If this happens to you, you go over to files. And um, you see it right here. You're just going to delete it. So I'm going to delete APK time. And also BTV, I'll delete that. To bring up the delete prompt, all you got to do is press the options button on your Fire Stick remote, the button with the three horizontal lines. Once you press that, it'll give you the option to delete. You can just delete it. All right, so now we're going to back out of here. Now that we have APK time fully updated to the latest version, now what we want to do is go over to where it says your apps and channels. Go all the way over to where you see see all. Select see all. Okay, and what we want to do is position APK time to the front. So you find APK time. If you just installed it, it'll be at the very uh, bottom of your list, the last, the last app on your list. Press the, uh, the options button, the button with the three horizontal line on your Fire Stick remote. Select that, and I'm going to select move to front. Now it's in the front. See this here? Okay, actually, let me just move this over. Make it the third in line. So now when we go out to the main page, you're going to see APK time, third in line. Okay, that's pretty much it, guys. This is how you update to the latest version of APK Time. Now, if you guys are not familiar with APK Time, I'll quickly run through it here. Is this a like I said? This is a place to get you know Cody forks, uh, updated builds, tools, and everything for your Android device. It's it's um it's a must-have app. It's right up there with um App Toy TV and other places where you can go to for all-in-one sources. As you guys can see here, top APKs. If you click this open, you'll see BTV. We're going to install these in upcoming videos, but I wanted to make sure you guys have the latest version of APK time. That way you can install the latest version of the, the most popular APKs. But going down, you'll see it. Android, we have launchers here. Um, APK seekers, you'll see. AppToy TV, which is another APK seeker. File linked um, entertainment. You're going to see more APKs here Cartoon HD, Dream TV, Free Flix, Jetbox, Coco Time, Media Box. All, all the great apps are here. And um, Essentials, you see here A Stream. Don't recommend using that without a VPN. Yes, File Explorer, another popular. Um, app that many of us use, IP Vanish, MX Player, something else that we use. Uh, what else we have? Game and Graveyard, Cody Forks. You'll see it here. All Cody Forks. And live for live TV viewing, you have CKTV, Daily, Free IP TV. Freeflix TV, HD streams, so on and so forth. But we're gonna we're gonna save the full breakdown of APK time in another video. This video was just to show you how to uninstall the old version of um, APK time. And remember, you want to uninstall because if you try to overwrite your old version of APK time with the new version, you may get a you may get an installation error. So it's always best to uninstall and then um, reinstall using the latest version of. APK time. All right, guys, so we're going to cut it here. This was APK time. This is an APK seeker app, the latest version. Make sure you have it because it allows you to install all your favorite APKs in one fell swoop. I'm going to see you guys in the next video, Fifth Avenue Project. All day, baby.